World News Wednesday, World News Wednesday. Who's the diva of the club that's made for you and me? D-I-S-N-E-Y, D-I-V-E-A. Disney Diva World News Wednesday, Disney Diva World News Wednesday. Forever let us hold the spanner. Hi, 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 hi. Come along and sing a song and join the jamboree. D-I-S-N-E-Y, D-I-V-E-A. World News Wednesday. So how y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's time for another World News Wednesday. It is World News Wednesday number 208. Take one. Holy snap and all. 208. Okay, okay. Let's find my right page. And we got the giveaway too, so stay tuned for that. All right. <laughs> What's it? That's it for Magic Kingdom? Oh, okay. Okay, let's start off with Magic King. Magic Kingdom. Number two, oh eight. Okay, Magic Kingdom. Uh, they posted on the Disney cast member, uh, cast and community website that they added a new, uh, small world figure in a wheelchair. Cause they want to be inclusive, so that's good. So yeah, they have a um small world doll in a wheelchair, and a lot of people's happy for that. I'll have them lit up, but hello, world. Things break the nails. Anyhow, they got that going on. Uh, they got previews for Tron, which it looks absolutely amazing. I'm really stopped. I didn't get waited in that queue for hours. I'm not the only one. Hours for it to come back and sell. Sorry, we full. Mm -hmm. Junk. But let's move on. Because we got to hit Epcot. Epcot's like two pages long. Because today started the Flower and Garden Festival. Now, we were there last week uh, to check out. Because they had a lot of the topiaries out already. They had all the flowers out by the lagoon. And it already looked beautiful. They had a lot of the booths uh, in place. But they were covered. But, yeah, we got tons of pics. I posted some of them. Got, you know, the photo pass, too. So, we posted some of those. I got some vids, some reels I haven't posted yet. But gorgeous, gorgeous. I can't wait to go to the festival itself. All right, let, let's, let's start off. So, the encant the, the the Spaceship Earth, the Points of Light Lights, uh, now has a new show. It's not the, you know, Figment anymore. It's the song Encanto, I, I Can Do It. Or what else can I do from Encanto is the song they play now with the lights going to the music. So that's nice. And the entrance now is uh, Encanto. So they're pushing that movie really hard. Maybe they're making a number two. Or they want to make a series. I don't know, but they're pushing it pretty good. So yes, that's nice on Spaceship Earth. And um, Connections has an orange bird waffle. I don't know the word for it. Lage. A Lay's waffle. It looks about like it's this big. Because a person's showing it, holding it, and their finger's covering up half of it. I'm like, okay, it's like this big. And, and the pictures that they're showing of the food, because they're holding it out and taking the pictures, or they're holding it like this and taking it. It's like, it doesn't look like a lot of food, unless it's the way they're taking their pictures. And, uh... The prices seem to have gone up from um, Festival of the Arts already. I mean, the portions are small. Prices $10 for a little piece of, you know, flatbread with some stuff slapped on it. I don't know. That's just my just what it looked like in the pictures. Now, when we go, I'll see it up close and personal because some of it looks really good. But for the prices, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll be picking and making a list of what I really want to try, and hopefully it'll be worth it. Cause yeah, eating our way around, eating and drinking our way around the world is only for the rich people now. Now you have to pick and choose 
what you want if you know two or three places you want to hit if you're us uh, regular people yeah <laughs> okay so oh I'm so sorry I'm tired that drive's killing me there was an accident this morning I was like Fuck, I got a video of that too anyhow <laughs> uh, uh, okay get past that part okay spikes pollination um Pollination, pollination scavenger hunt. That's a tongue twister. Spikes pollination scavenger hunt. Oh, I guess not. I guess it's just me. Uh, it's back. And um, it, it's $10, I think. I didn't write it down, but I think it's $10. And um, the adults can do it. They say kids scavenger hunt. No BS. And then the Easter one's coming back uh, the 16th of this month. But Spikes is already out. You got to go look around. Uh the world and find spike and uh the prizes are little plates or cups uh they have either snow white figment orange bird or spike so that's your prizes is uh a little cup or a little plate i have one of the plates i got from one other uh, other one but it's over yonder so yeah and uh the photo pass picks look cute. Some of them are from last year, and uh, some of them no. Oh, let me write that down. Let me write that down over here somewhere. Because it's wom wo Woman's History Month. And they got all kinds of food just for that. And uh, photo pass ops for that, too, that look, look really different. Oh, my God, I can't read my own writing. Woman's History Month stuff. Stuff. Oh my god, the merch, y'all, the merch. Okay, get back to what we were talking about. Now, where's my damn page? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, flip it back. Okay, okay. The topiaries are absolutely beautiful. I got, I, we got to see a lot of them already up. And um, the photo pass pics. The international gardens, too. Don't just check out the topiaries the international gardens are gorgeous as well they're not like disney character themed but country themed to that country and you gotta check those out as well now um the merch is whew, it's orange bird every year with a little bit of figment tossed in and figment gets most of the love uh for festival of the arts and food and wine and Orange Bird gets all the love, usually during the Flower and Garden Festival, because he's an orange. Yeah. Go figure. Oh, my God. Can you stop yawning? That's bad. I didn't yawn the whole time until I started doing this video. <laughs> okay. So, I have a, I've seen all the merch. They had it posted. Uh, lots of annual pass holder merch. I'm surprised there's a lot this year. And... And no gift card yet. I haven't seen it. I always get the gift cards. Now, last year's was shaped like a flower shape with orange bird in it. And they had Mickey and Minnie. Now, I, I haven't seen no Mickey and Minnie stuff. It's like Snow White this year. They, and they might be coming in. But, um, yeah, I want to see what the gift card looks like. And still no word on when the Figment meet and greet's going to show up. What's up that? Where's Figgy? Yeah. Now, I heard the popcorn bucket is still available, but now it's at the popcorn stands because uh, at the Odyssey Pavilion, it is now the Orange Blossom Pavilion, pretty much for now. And that's where you get the Orange Bird separate. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. So, uh, 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 okay. Oh, there it is. I'm already talking about it. Ah! See, I do have some stuff left in my Disney brain. <clears throat> okay, so now the the zipper itself is fifteen dollars, but they have a bundle where you can get the orange bird uh, little golden book and the zipper for nineteen dollars. Now you get the little golden book separate for six and the zipper for uh, thirteen, or get a combo for nineteen and get them both. So yes, why not get the combo? For shizzle and i almost bought that book for 13 dollars itself off of uh amazon but i did i'm glad i waited yeah oh god 
So he's different this year. He's standing up, holding an or orange. And uh, some people were saying, well, what, what are you putting your, putting your mouth on the straw? Where is that coming from? And then someone said it looked like he was getting a little feisty with that orange there. <laughs> I do have the pick on www.disneydiva.com, so you have to check it out. But yeah, they were making uh, innuendos about the orange bird. I was laughing. I thought it was funny. Anyhow. I don't. I, I I troll so many blogs and vlogs. I don't know which one it was from. They all post it, but Disney Parks posted it, and then they copy it off Disney Parks. I get all my stuff direct from the source. <laughs> oh wait, we're skipping. We're skipping. Wait, was that it? Okay, okay. Hollywood Studios today was a madhouse. Uh. It just so happened uh, that the Mandalorian showed up with uh, Baby Yoda out of nowhere. And they say because of the dating of um, the Black Black Spire outpost, which uh, I was getting ready to say Guardians of Galaxy. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is themed of, he don't fit in the timeline. That's why they never brought him there. But for some reason today, we know what the reason is. Is because Mandalorian season three started today. He popped up, and once people got word of it, they swarmed Hollywood Studios because uh, you can park hop if you have a park hopper option after two. So, and then the people around the park that heard word of it said, "Hey, Mandalorian and Baby Yoda is over in Star Wars." Everybody flocked, and it was just a madhouse. Now they thought it was just going to be for today because of the you know, season three starting, but they said it's going to be on the regular. So he's going to be appearing regularly there now, which is really awesome. I'm excited for that. I can't wait to watch it. When I get done with this, I'm going to watch The Mandalorian. Yeah. To see my baby. That's my baby. All right. I'm getting this ready to go up on the um, random generator. Number random generator. <laughs> Having a hard time tonight. I need to get some sleep. Random. Oh, geez. Number random. Random. There we go. Okay, it's on there. Because, yes, I do have a little giveaway. So, yes, Mandalorian and Star Wars Galaxy. That's with a cute little baby Yoda. Now, they won't let you get up and get close to touch the baby Yoda because it's a little animatronic that he has in his satchel. His little sack there. Uh... It would be so cute to be there in person. All right, let me turn the page. So I said, Hollywood Studios. Junk. That's what's putting me to sleep. Boring ass Disney. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Disney Springs and Resorts. Let's do it. Okay. Governor Ron DeSantis on Monday uh, signed at this fire station, Reedy Creek Fire Station number four. He signed uh, the district takeover. He signed it. And uh, he appointed to the board the co-writer of the parental rights bill, which everybody wants to call the don't say you know what bill. But it's the parental rights, giving parents rights to know what's being taught in the school and saying certain things shouldn't be taught to children under certain ages. And I agree. I agree. And Disney wanted to get political about it, so now they lost their privileges. And it's not going to fall back on, on the Floridians. They'll probably increase prices. Like, yeah, the little tiny portions is going to go down to like, what is that? Is there something on that place? Where's the beef? <laughs> it's their own damn fault. They ain't keeping their nose in their own business. So, um... It is now going to be the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. It will no longer be Reedy Creek. Everybody still probably call it Reedy Creek because that's a long name. Can I give it some initials? Like the CFTOD, <laughs> Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. And uh, his quote was at the beginning, his, the first thing he said in, in his... Uh, conference with the media was today the corporate kingdom in quotes 
today the corporate kingdom finally comes to an end. So, thanks to Paycheck. So, Iger's got to deal with that. Now, it doesn't say that they can never get their privileges back. It's just that, you know, keep your nose at our business. And it's not to say that they ever will, but you never know. Don't ever say never. Now, Gideon's Flavor of the Month. Oh, my Lord, y'all. Peanut Butter Chocolate Swirl. Let me say that again. Peanut Butter Chocolate Swirl. Oh, uh, I got to go to Gideon's. Now, reservations open up today for Narcoozies, which is opening back up at the Grand. And uh, seen around the parks, at least two of them, the 100th Popcorn Bucket. Not the balloon one, but the round one that's got Mickey and Minnie. And it says Walt Disney World 100th. So that's good because I figured it'd say Disneyland, but it don't. It says Walt Disney World, which is good. So the 100 pop, I think it's $13 for the popcorn bucket. Because it's just one regular. I'll have one to grab clothes. Those are all my like specialty popcorn buckets. It's not a specialty one. It's just, well, it is for 100th, but it's just one of the regular cylinder cylinder style ones. Okay. I want to say round, but no, it's not really round. It's like a cylinder. Okay. See, I, learned, I, I teach my kids their shapes, and I learned that it's a cylinder. <laughs> <clears throat> now they got Peter Pan and Wendy coming to Disney Plus on April 28th and they did post a um, preview stop with the remakes and the live action craps everybody's getting tired for that sh it's getting old can they come up with anything original that's not woke I don't know everybody's getting tired for the remakes give it a break and, uh, yeah, they're coming out with more. Now, Cinderella's Royal Table and Chef Mickey's is back with their characters. Cinderella's got the princess. Cinderella's Royal Table's got their princesses back. And Chef Mickey's has got, has got the Mick and the Goof and Donald back over, over there. But now the prices went up by a lot. I didn't write them down. Go to www.dizzydiva.com. There's a lot of content that I posted in there that I didn't post on here. Like Josh Gad do, being the skipper cruise, uh, the jungle cruise skipper. It's hilarious. You got to go check it out on www.dizzydiva.com. It's cute. And um, a little bit of Dick Van Dyke singing uh, The Mass Singer. A little snippet. He posted it, so I, I shared it. Yeah, I'm all over the place looking for stuff y'all don't even know. <laughs> But the prices have increased, and people were complaining about the food. Not recently, but when they first opened back up, they're like, "Ugh." Okay. The did you see? Okay, I did post a video on www.disneydiva.com on Facebook too about the 100 Lego sets. They got Cinderella. They got Encanto. They got Steamboat uh, Mickey. Oh my gosh, some of them are so adorable. So check out the video. There's going to be more. It's a little Lego tank going around doing a little magic with the actual, some of the scenes for the movie and showing you the Lego sets. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Yes, 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 yes. Typhoon Lagoon is officially opening. I can't read it. March, in March. I think it's the 12th, but that could be a 7. So either March 12th or March 17th. I know y'all excited for that. And of course, Mandalorian Season 3 started. You know I love my baby Yoda. I, I haven't had the Disney Plus on since last season. I swear. I haven't. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's what I'm paying all that money for. Oh, Lord. And it's Women's History Month. So, uh, D Disney Springs is full of all about the women... Uh, they do have special photo pass for that. Uh, we'll talk more about that on Yak Attack Friday because I, I spaced it till it popped into my brain. Okay, all the ray before we do the giveaway. That's it. That's all I yeah. Okay.
Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, all the Ravens of Flower and Garden merch. Um, the Snow White, Dooney, and Burks are gorgeous. Gorgeous. But they're them light colors, man. They, they get color transfer so easy. I, I, don't, I don't... You have to hold them out like this. You can't let it rub anything. <laughs> and if it rains, forget it. They're done. They're junk. Can't get them wet either. And the Orange Bird Sipper... And the ears, the orange bird ears. Oh my gosh, I gotta snag a pair of those because I don't know if those will make it to the outlet that none of the orange bird ears ever have. So I'll have to snag a pair of that. So the giveaway. I got an extra bonus, extra bonus. And you have to watch the video. I'm not announcing it on the thing. So this was what I was originally giving away. Uh, a Hallmark Hello 2023, because it's still new in the year, ca calendar. Got some cute little graphics. And if you're not in the Hallmark Club, you need to join. Because I can go get a free card. An all-occasion card or something. Starting tomorrow. Uh, Finding Dorian Friends Scavenger Hunt from the Living Seas. I'll still call it the Living Seas, even though they cut the living off. It's got little stickers and stuff where you find little animals. You put the sticker on it. The sticker. Look, there's Mr. Ray. So yeah, that's adorbs. And this Epcot map. Now I think this is from, yeah, this has got Festival of the Arts and as well. It's got Flower and Garden. Oh, it's already got the dates, Food and Wine Festival and Festival Holidays. Okay. So anyhow, Epcot map. And guess what I found? I found a Magic Kingdom 50th map. That features Splash Mountain. And I'm going to give you that too. Yeah, I thought I'd give them all away. Uh, either in orders from the outlet or just giveaways. But I found one for y'all. I mean, I got one for myself. But I found extra. I need to get rid of them. I got too much stuff. I got lots of Epcot ones. So stay tuned for that. So you get all these things. And uh, only 13 people. So let's do it. Let's do this thing. Cause I'm ready to watch the man, Mandalore. No, okay. What the fuck am I doing? Who am I calling? Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Make that a 13. Okay. So I got one to one, one to 13. Now I'm gonna hit generate. That that's not generated. I'm, I haven't hit it yet. That just automatically popped up. So let me hit generate, and it picked number six. Number six. So if you're number six, I put numbers in. I put numbers in. They're there. So uh, whoever number six is, you won. I don't know. I didn't write it down. So number six, Splash Mountain. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll talk about it. So I love y'all. Please pray for our country. Did y'all hear Lori Lightfoot is out? <laughs> I'm so happy for that. People got smart. They got smart, and I'm glad for that. She is out. Let's see. Let's see if they can make some sense and put somebody good in there. Yeah. So I love y'all. Oh, let me show them a couple things. I did do an unboxing on this bag. It's heavy. What the fuck I got in here? <clears throat> so I'm not gonna go into all the deets. Go to um, my unboxing and check it out. But this is the Disneyland Harvey's Shag. And I put this uh, oil slick click and go with it. So this bag is absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to see the inside, the lining. Oh my gosh, I wish they would have made a bag with this lining. If you want to see the charm, the charm's the kicker. Okay, if you want to see that, go check out my unboxing. And I did this. Oh, my, my disco light, man. I'm going to go and get my groove on. Shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. You son of a slapping. I showed this bag. It was either it was on Yak Attack Friday. I opened it. Or I don't think it was World News Wednesday. I think it was Yak Attack Friday. I haven't even carried this yet. But I did open the plastic up. This is the Chippendale Berry very very happy very happy 
So check out the video. It was either on the live Yak Attack Friday or um, World News Wednesday. I don't remember. But look at the charm. One side's chip. Or that's Dale. And the other side's chip. I haven't opened it yet. But when, I, when I break bread on it, look at the bottom. is like a dark, I think they call it chestnut. And this is like a cognac. And the lining's adorable. So check it out. I already posted the videos. Y'all, I'm getting ready to take these munchlings to school. You got uh, the evil Maleficent. You got Lotso. You got the, these are all villains. You got Ka, Hades, Oogie Boogie, and what the hell's them two names? The ones from Hercules. Those two little dudes down there. So you can either get those two little dudes. They're mystery ones. Her, Maleficent, Ka, and they're scented. That's Lotso. That's Oogie Boogie. And that's Hades. Yeah. So I haven't opened them, so I don't know what's which ones they are either. They do smell pretty good, though. So, yeah. Eight, eight bucks a piece plus shipping. And they still have these at the parks, but these were at the outlet. So eight bucks a piece. And I still got this beautiful Starbucks Christmas tumbler. That I'm gonna give us a uh, take it to give it to one of my girlies at work and then we'll have to snag it. It was $14.99 plus tax and shipping. So yeah. Let me know if you want it. If not, it need to go. Please pray for our country. It's yeah, it's getting ugly. It's getting ugly. Yeah. And I love y'all. And I'll see y'all on the page. And I'll see y'all on Yak Attack Friday. Remember, I have a private group, WW Disney Diva. That's it. On Facebook. It's a private group. You'll see my picture up there. And I asked to join because we go live outlet shopping once a month. And I, I can pick up at the parks or at the outlet when we go. Because a lot of times I'll go and do a video or just do pickups and don't do live. Okay? So, God bless you. God bless America. Happy 1st of March. I'll see y'all. Yeah, I'll see y'all here shortly. Bye, y'all. Peace out.